Hello everyone, welcome in my channel Windows Form and today I am going to show you uh, how to create setup files in uh, Visual Studio 2019 and later versions. Okay, so uh, uh, here uh, we have uh, a Windows Form uh, .NET Framework and .NET Core applications and first of all create a new project uh, that's name is uh, look, uh, you, as you can choose any names of the projects. So project name is Windows Form 2 that is a simple project you can say. So if you want to change your icons, if you want to change your names and if you have a already built applications then you can convert into the uh, form of install uh, installer. Okay, so you can say setup files. So just download by clicking on the extension and download install Microsoft Visual Studio installer project uh, into your project. After it uh, must to close Visual Studio first of all and then that is start VSIX installer file into your system. After that you can see uh, installing is currently running on your system and you can see that the modify button will be displayed on your pop-up menu and or you, you can say that uh, desktop uh, portal. So installing uh, necessary and required files for your Visual Studio Professional 2019 to set up to create a set of files. Okay. So your uh, setup starts and uh, you can say that verifying downloading Visual installer projects and uh, after a few minutes uh, your your setup and your VSX installer is uh, uh, installing into your system and you will see how to uh, create a set of files in uh, Visual Studio uh, for your uh, Windows Form projects. So wait for some times and uh, you will see uh, the set of projects uh, existing in the Visual Studio and uh, so wait for some times and uh, keep watching all of those videos and the necessary files you can see Win 10 SDK 10.0.19041 that is the uh, installer version of Windows 10 SDK. Okay, our installer is running and uh, just open Visual Studio again and uh, Visual Studio 2019 and open your project again, the same project, you have to uh, open it again and just go to the your uh, solution explorer and add a new project. If you want to add uh, icon files, just uh, Google it and uh, uh, download your setup icons for your uh, for your setup projects. Otherwise, you can choose the default options. And just go to the project properties, and you can display your default icons. If you want to change, then replace that icon from your current one. Okay. Now uh, the next is add a new project by using clicking on the solution uh, just project solution and add a new project and set up project you have to choose in from the given menus option and click to, to the next button okay the project name is setup1 by default then choose setup uh, that is the file name and you will see a new setup project will be displayed in the solution explorer and here we have two files that is file system setup and just open in the right menu application folder and just right click on it and add a new project output group just primary output group and also that primary output group is an installer file under your application folder Okay, so just uh, 
just make a copy of that and uh, put into the user's desktop and the user's programs user's docs desktop i mean to say that your desktop uh, will be display as a icon of your setup file so like that windows form app setup you can say installer so windows form app installer will be displayed in your users desktop so just copy and paste into your users desktop folder or you can say directory the same thing you can uh, do for your users program menus when we click on the start menu of your windows then display that icon uh, in your programs in your program menu so just create just create it windows form app installer then just copy that thing in under your users program menu so the thing is clear now when we click on the application folder you can you will see the program form windows form applications just go to that uh, output window and here you will see uh, the properties window okay so these are the properties default if you want to change the icon file of your user desktop and users program menu installer file then just click on it and uh, add a new also the application folder you have to add a new file where you can choose your icon file okay now just go to the users desktop and select the properties window and you will see the icon file at here and also change your icon file okay just click on the browse button and just change your icon file of your setup and the next thing is setup right click on your setup project and change prequestix prequestix i mean to say that if you want to run your application and before you want to uh, before you want to run uh, you must you uh, must have to set up your uh, some programs on your client machine then you have to choose your that thing that is the prequestix for your client and also configure manager if you want your uh, project on your release mode then setup will be released okay and that then no debugging options will be displayed uh, for your client okay so setup project will be displayed as a release options okay just click on this ok button and uh, again just rebuild your setup projects and rebuild that is all to succeeded and zero failed and after that just right click on the setup and install it install your program and you will see your program on your desktop also you will see your program in the programs and removed options just go to the properties menu and here you will see the configure manager and the prequestics also there and the properties panel will be displayed your description your manufacturer name your author name you you will see you will change your author name uh, manufacturers and uh, uh, and the source path subjects sports phone support url and lots of things you have to change your thing. Okay, just click on it uh, your windows app installer file on your which be, will be displayed on your desktops and just close the form default also that setup file will be displayed in your uh, program and setup uh, pro add and remove programs menu and where you can uh, delete your file or uninstall your file from the given menu first of all choose your setup file from the given menu and uh, just uninstall it okay that's fine 
thank you very much for watching this video and keep watching all the last video which is related to windows form and related to your topics thank you very much for watching